Yo, what's going on, Sexy Samalander Squad? How was your weekend? I hope it was amazing. I had a good weekend. I had to help my parents move houses. But uh, you know what? Other than that, it was a hell of a workout. I, I don't know if y'all ever had to move a washer or dryer before, but my God, they are heavy. <laughs> but um, yeah, I hope your weekend was great. The top comment... With almost 100 likes, which is a surprising amount of likes, honestly. Um, actually, hold on. What do I want to go here? Boombas would be great if I got to level 20, but I don't know if I make it to level 20 here. If I go Boombas. I'm going to go Conduit. I'm going to go Conduit, and my reason for going Conduit is... Uh, I'm going to do... I'm going to do Chronos Prendent into Breastplate. I don't know. My brain didn't work there for a second. I haven't had coffee. Oh, that's my bad. But um, no, uh, I'm going to go Conduit Gem because I'm going to go Chronos Prendent into Breastplate. So uh, my cooldown is going to get online immediately. I don't want to wait for cooldown, especially while playing Hell. That really sucks. You know, mannequins, it's fine. I'm just waiting to clear. Pretty normal stuff here. Nothing too dramatic happening. But, um... Oh my, you jumped in, my man. What? What is this? Huh? What was that? <laughs> that was not what I expected. I, I really genuinely didn't expect him to do that. Can I come for this red? No? Oh. All right, that's surprising, but I'll take it. But I'll take it. I'm not going to level my two yet. Boom. Nice. So, uh, what was I talking about? I forgot what I was talking about before I started fighting the honor, but... I'm trying to remember. I just, I honestly can't remember. Whatever, it's fine. But the, uh, the top comment in the first video I did yesterday was Hell. I don't normally pay, play Hell, normally because she's just... Okay. She's a little bit too good. I think she's quite S tier. Yeah, you know, I three hit him. Uh, she's quite S tier. And I like to kind of stay away from those gods in my videos unless I'm doing a Try Hard Thursday. Not to mention I don't play her like at all anyways. Like, I know she's very, very good, but she's just not my cup of tea. You know, I'm not, I'm not like a spam abilities kind of guy. I'm more, I want one ability to one hit you. That's, that's more the kind of guy I am. And she's, she's not, she doesn't really play like that. So, um, yeah, she's not my favorite to play, but, you know, I find myself enjoying, I, I find myself enjoying the gameplay when I do actually pick her. And try to have fun. <laughs> like right now, I'm having a great time. I'm having a great time. I don't... Okay, why are you jump on every wave? Why do you jump on every wave? But it's not gonna... It's not gonna win you the, the game. I'm gonna say fight, but like... It's happened three times, and he's died two out of the three times, so... Gotta start being a little bit more careful. Ariel the seventh, apparently. Dude, I wonder if you could change your name mid game. Probably not. Oh, I don't know. Cause can you change your username on the website? If you can, it would be so funny to uh, name yourself something, and then every time you died in game. You change it to like the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth. <laughs> it's like you just kept going up every time you died. It'd be really funny. I don't know if you can do that though. It would also cost a lot of money. <laughs> that's that's a rich person thought for sure. Only only a rich person would be like, yeah, hey, I'm gonna do that. I'll think of the idea for you, but I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Dude, that one hits hard. Look at that. 225 damage. Mm. 
ease, dude. I'm doing so much. I find it really difficult for this on her to do anything against me here. We altered that buff act. Damn. Ah, uh, didn't even hit him. Alright, so right now I'm just farming for Breastplate. I mean, obviously, anybody that plays Hell, or anybody that's interested in a Hell video, aka everyone watching, um, you know that with Hell comes the need for immediate cooldown reduction. So... Kronos in the breastplate is pretty much the only way you play hell, reliably at least. Unless you're going like Kronos putting it into Genji's guard and then you're going into like, you know, I, I don't know, something else that has 10% cooldown. Can't think of one off the spot. Why did you pillar me but then hit my wave? Jesus Christ. I am I do so much damage. Uh, he finished his item and thought he was about to clown me. But, uh, that's not how this works. You still get a movement speed buff from this to the minions? Like, I know I do, but do the minions? You do. How gains increased movement speed and allies gain a reduced amount? 10%. Okay. So I gain 25%, but the things I heal only gain 10%, or it's reduced by 10%. Uh oh. Alright. Alright. You know what? I deserve that. I do. You're right. I deserve that. That's my bad. I was not giving you the respect you deserve. I think I'm just going to go blink. I really... I don't see myself needing Aegis here. I already have 70 MP5. That's ridiculous. Uh, for those who don't know, the maximum MP5 that you are allowed to have in the game is 100. So having 70 already is pretty stupid. You get a lot from your passive, though. Or it's not your passive. It's your alt, technically. What is your passive? 10% increased healing from abilities while in light stance. 20% increased damage in dark stance. Okay, that was annoying. We finished the Shoguns. Oh, you messed up, bud. You messed up. just got a little too close a little too close him him having shoguns is great for him but also that means he's going for consistent damage rather than like trans hydra shit like that um i really don't think consistent damage works against hell which is why she's so good i mean duel is a meta of who can do consistent damage, you know, the best, which is why hunters are on top, auto attack assassins are on top, warriors are on top, stuff like that. People that can just be consistent. But, um, it's crazy because the people that beat hell are the burst damage people, you know, like shit like Nox or, or, uh, or like, uh, Poseidon is, is pretty good against hell, honestly. But those burst damage characters aren't picked too much in duel because they just normally lose to the consistent damage. So it's such a back and forth between what you want to do and you want to pull it off, you know? I kind of want to go Book of the Dead, but I also want to not and just go a bunch of power. You know what I mean? I think the comment actually said a thousand power hell. Now that I think about it. Your middle towers 
I think it might have. Well, let's get a thousand power then. I don't know if I can with uh, with breastplate. It might have to be something I get rid of. I missed. What if I missed? Gonna jump. Nice. Hell yeah, dude. Alright, so that should be Phoenix. Oh, maybe it's not. Minions live. Nice. Why did it take two hits for them to die? Does my three give protection? Doesn't. So then why did it take... Wait, did they bring that back? I know there was a point in time, I don't remember when, where uh, minions or arch archer minions specifically would be tanky enough to take two hits from the Phoenix. And then people got mad and they removed it. Is that back? Can archer minions take two hits all the time now? Or is it just something about how low it was or something like that. I don't know. That's weird. That's actually the first time in a really long time. Like years and years and years that I've been genuinely confused about something in Smite. I, I don't know how or why those archer minions took two Phoenix shots. Every single one of them. Do I have an aura? Am I an aura based person? I can't buy it. I was like, why can't I buy that? But only allowed one tier four. Um, that is 145 power. That is a very high power item. I'll grab it. Uh, dude, I don't think anything gives me an aura, man. Yeah, I don't think anything gives me an aura. That's weird. I guess I'll do Bull Demon. Phoenix is already half spawned, so... Might as well make sure that I can re-get it again. Ah! Oh. She was yelling for Appa, and I thought she was yelling for me, and she goes, Not you, Appa! And I was like, oh. Peace. Oh, here, here comes little Zoomy boy. Got your blue, man. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wow, I didn't know that pillar could stop that. Honestly, thought it went through walls. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty obvious I don't know anything about this character. I'm out here literally reading the abilities. Like, wait, does she have an aura? Wait a second, do I increase move speed? I'm a clown. Did he just ult me, by the way? I... He ulted me, hit me three times for less than 200 damage. That is mighty unfortunate. What if Hell was like Uller in the sense that uh, every ability you used in your other stance lowered the cooldowns of your previous stance? That, that would be absurd. I don't know if you guys knew that about Uller, actually. Um, when you play Uller, if you are in your bow stance and you, uh, you use an ability, it will lower the cooldown of all of your axe stance abilities by one second for each ability you use. So you just cycle through. It's, uh, if anyone's seen me play Uller, which it, it would surprise me because I ban it most of the time. But, um... You'll notice that when I'm running away from something or trying to chase something, I spam all my abilities as fast as I can in both stances because it will bring my axe stance to back up faster, which is my movement speed ability. So, a little interesting thing for those Uller players out there to do. 
as for the hell players out there watching this game i am sorry <laughs> i don't know what the hell i'm doing i feel like an absolute bozo what gives the most power here oh book gives 120 huh it gives 122 now question will this give me more than 120 It's 10% of my mana from items, though. I don't have too much mana from... I oh, actually, a conduit gem is pretty up there. There's a mana from items. So, what? I have... I have This will be 250 mana. I don't know. Hold on. I'll figure it out. Book of Thoth gives me 100... And 40 power by itself, right? Because 10%. This gives me a thousand. And this is giving me 180 power by itself. Holy fuck. Because when this is fully stacked, it will give me a thousand mana. And 10% of that will get converted into power for just this item. So just that item alone will give me 180 power once it's finished. Jesus. Okay. Hello. I actually kind of feel bad for you. There's pretty much nothing you can do to me. In fact, it's it's not even pretty much. It's like there is actually nothing you can do to me. Didn't mean to kill you there. Oh, he has Ankh. That's cute. That's cute. He got Ankh. I don't want to end. So I didn't actually want to see... I, I didn't want to kill him there. I just wanted him to run away from me. Oops. Oh well. I can get this too. That's better for damage. Teasing. Your team has destroyed the middle enemy phoenix. I don't know if I muted in time. Oh my god. Oh jeez. Ow. Oh my whole my whole body. My soul. My soul just came out of my nose. Ow. Anyways, let's get red buff. Let's get red buff. I actually don't think I'll be able to get to a thousand power. I think he'll lose the game before I get there. Which sucks, but also is what it is. All right. Holy shit. My one hit him for 527. And then my my two, I hit him twice for 1300 damage. All right. I'm not going to be able to get to 1000 power, but I will tell you, if I got this item finished, it would be 1000 power. I'm at 900. Oh, wait, hold on. He might be able to save this. Might be able to save it. Shit. He's not able to. Whatever. It's okay. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, make sure to leave a comment down below about what you want to see for the future. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until next time, guys. Peace.